All right, everyone, welcome back into some more Avatar Frontiers of Pandora for PS5. We are playing, starting with this tonight. Just a little further. Thank you, everybody, who's been uh, checking out this series. Uh, we are on Shadows of the Past. Find the Refugee. Or the Refuge, excuse me. <laughs> Show on map. Okay, so that's over there. Let's put down a waypoint. It's not too far from where we are. Yeah, man, really, really enjoying this game still. Only that one mission really kind of soured the experience for a bit, but hopefully we don't have anything too bad like that again. But we'll see. Whoa. I found some too, but it was a strange color. You should listen to Tuntu. I did. We must find a way to help Ewa heal the forest. Alright, let's get this going. Let's get it going. Was there a time before the hollows when we welcomed all to our fireside? I do not know. This, uh, where have they gone? My little ones. Everybody's talking right now. I don't know what's happening. Everybody's got like stuff going on. I don't know if there's any more side missions that we can like do along the way, but what I got in here. So I'm hoping to have this game wrapped up by um. You know, by early February or something like that. My brother left the hollows and never came back. I got a lot of other stuff. I might start going back to some games I haven't finished yet. Uh, that I think I can probably finish. But I will see. Because we've been finishing a lot of games. I just have a the problem is I'm working on a lot of big games at the moment, so it's uh You know, I like to put in the time on these big ones and really soak them all up. Take our time, that's just fine. Do you think we will ever trade with the other clans like we used to? Maybe. I would like to try out some of that Zakru cheese. See what all the fuss is about. And maybe try on a Rana head more. If you should. That would be nice. Gather that, nope. Uh, let's start heading to our marker. I could stay out here forever. Well, you pretty much can. I find that what people eat shapes their dreams. I made this because it grants me powerful dreams. I do not know if it will work for you. You should try. Lean meat skewer. All right. Thanks for the food. Oh, we did get some skill points, right, from the last mission we finished. Oh, yeah, we got four. So let's see. What was I going to do? Maybe I should start working on... This deal twenty five percent damage enemies act the status effect. And what does this one do? Yeah, that's pretty good. That one. I just need to unlock all these other ones first before I get that. This is eight of twelve skills unlocked. I mean, I can do these two right now. You gain an additional 50% of your base energy, so that means... Alright, that'll be good to get better stamina, I guess. We'll just use these. Boom. There we go. A 
we'll do that. Oh boy. Uh, Carol. We need to fly us right out of here. going on down there. Who are, they, who are they even fighting? Land over there. Welcome in. Welcome in, dude. You on the PS5 tonight? Must be it. Oh, cool. This is pretty welcoming. I'm gonna crack open my peace tea. Alright, uh, can we go this way? Go! Must be another way in. Man. Do we need sticks? No, we don't. What about this way? Can't get in there either, okay. Uh, Doesn't look like a way in either. Uh, <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? None of your business. Uh, maybe I should talk to them though. Are you lost, stranger? I am looking for Anu Fee. I am sorry you traveled so far for nothing. Satne said she lives out here. I need a healer, and I hear Anufi is the best. Our Sahib doesn't see anyone near here. Mokasa forbids it. I stay around to make sure she is cared for. If I could just talk to her, my people need her healing. I noticed the mark, stranger. Perhaps she would make an exception. But maybe you can help her too. I can try. But how do I get inside? She created a barrier using those mushrooms. I don't know how it works, and she has her own hidden entrance. I cannot help. Oh, but come I on. Stop you if you figure it out. <laughs> Thanks. That plant barrier. Like the one at the rookery. Yeah, so. That's it. Must find the others. You gotta touch those things. We gotta look around for those. Let's see. This just takes me back up. Okay. All right. We're gonna have another one down here somewhere.
somewhere. here and then we have another one up this way or nope maybe not maybe down up there all right so I gotta get up there do, 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 do. oh nice jump there it is Is that all of them? Sounds like that was it. All right, nice. In we go. cooking stuff too so might as well grab food if we find it Let's see if we can craft anything like better right now My health is 46 so this would be I'm gonna get it health 15 to 83 I don't know, like, what does it mean by that? I mean, some of the stuff I have on is pretty good. Exquisite crafting design, health. Oh, I don't have the materials for this stuff. I craft this thing? Higher damage bow? A lightning longbow? Well, I only used, I pretty much used a heavy bow, honestly, so. That's doing all right. But my spear throwing. I need bones for that. There we go, I think those are better ankle guards, I think. Hang on. Was they one? Yeah, they are. Okay. Nice. Something, I guess. Yeah, that's what happens when I step into the light. You get that kind of reaction. Yes, there was once pleasure in healing and power too. 
the power to harm. These hands are proof of that. And the tiny thing I made like this, I made it to heal, but it only did harm. And now your people lie in the fog. What did you do? The fog. I killed you. All of you. No. The sky people came for us. No, it was me. So many dead already. No. I told you, it is too dangerous. I cannot risk trying to heal. Any other innocents, our wounded will die without your help. And they will die. Dang. That's cold. Leave the refuge to call Nor. They are not going to help us? Like, really? Tai, Anufi, it wasn't easy. I told you they're reclusive. It's not just that. There's something more going on here. She's confused. She thinks she killed the Saren too. Can that be true? That doesn't make any sense. What else did she say? Just that she can't help us and that we're lost in the fog. I don't know. Perhaps they're hiding something. Nobody wants to help me. They all seem afraid. Why did There's Anufi's guardian. She helped me earlier. I'll see what I can find out. Okay. Talk to Zamil again. Let's see what we can make. Veggie and fish. That should be good, right? Maybe. Superior fish stuff, mushroom, nice. And then what happens if we cook these seeds? I wonder what will happen. Crunchy stir fry, all right. Also have egg. How about egg and mushroom? Food pouch is full. Never mind. We do need to eat something though. So let's eat. Uh, one of these crunchy stir fries, I guess. There we go. So Mia was up here, right? You're not up here anymore? Why wouldn't Anufi help me? I thought she was a healer. Anufi is troubled. It may take her time. But I don't have time. The sky people attacked us. Many of us died. Others are sick. Please, I don't know where else to go. Nobody can know I helped. But there is another healer. His name is Siul. Where can I find him? Herbalism is forbidden. But Siul persists. Why is it forbidden? Siul. My friend said you are famed herbalist. Find Siul, he will explain. 
I can't help you if nobody will tell me what's happening. Dr. Siul, the herbalist have a space in the hollows. He might be there, although I haven't seen him in a while. That's all I can say. Please go now. I all understand. Right. Thank you. I'll uh, see you all later. Can help you Completed out shadows of the past. Side. Okay. I hear has new quest, a new plan. What is this thing? Search for Seol at the Herbalist Circle in the Hollows. Let's see, is that right here? A new plan. So he's in the Hollows? Isn't that where we came from? Over there. Hmm. Change is coming to the Famagdira. Can't get up there. Whoa, that's a long drop. See, there's just more ingredients that we can gather or something. Nothing. Fully crafted on there. What about this? Craft some spears. Something new, I think. Snakewood cone, all right. Let's go, Carol. No, there's another healer. See you. And she will help? I hope so. Foggy over here. So they're down there, but did you do something? Oh, I get down there. Yeah, isn't this where we literally came from? We have a healer here the whole time. Is it so wrong to bring some cheer into this grim place? 
Oh, you're not who I need to talk to. Just in case. Good point. Nice mask. I thought it was bringing me here. I guess not. So it's. See you. I hear one of the hunters has created a new auto design. So we need to find the herbalist circle. I do not know exactly. Hello. Oh, here we go. Seul? Seul? No. I met Seul's workshop. It's deserted. It looks like it has been for a while. Why have so many come and here and disappeared? Maybe it's linked to. Do you think it's the Yada? I'll take a look around. So what is happening? No. How many clues do we have? Just that. Doesn't look right. Doesn't look right. I think clue to oh wait maybe this thing. I think Seul is trying to make something with his iPhone. With sick iPhone, he is a healer. You he would know better. Maybe it's linked to <laughs> a painting of a canyon and markings in paint. Maybe Seul wanted someone to follow him. Seul is trying to make something, but Anufi's guardian said herbalism is forbidden. Maybe Seul couldn't hide it here anymore. So he went to the canyon. The strange iPhone might be there too, if it's near the Yava. I'll try to find it. Must be close to the hollows? Going to the canyon. Raining in this game, just like it's been raining by me. It rained like most of the weekend here, guys, and it was raining big time today. So. It's got a nice. A sudden truth. The stories are true. Going this way. Oh, shoot. Close are we? It's over here. We uh, we may play some Prince of Persia later. After this, because it might just be a PS5 kind of night. Work on some of these, some of these games. Material full, jeez, okay.
at the canyon. It looks just like the one from Seul's drawing. No Seul, though. It's a waste of time. Maybe you should come back. <laughs> Let me see if I can find that Eithorn. Find the sick Eithorn growing near the Grasping Mountain and the Cascading Stones. Ooh, this is probably going to be tough to reach, huh? Maybe I should drop some stuff that I have in my pouch. Because this is full though. Do I even like need? A 15 health. What is that? Yeah, I can probably drop some of these. Like the lower damage stuff. Get like rid of some of that. Yeah. Just so we have room for a couple more things cooking ingredients, food, gear. We have plenty of room for gear and weapon stuff. Missed items? What? I guess I can grab those. Huh? Am I getting attacked? No, 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 no! Whoa, I had to jump over. Show me where to go. Is that the sick eye thorn? There's like poisonous over here. What the? F Pick this fast, I guess. What do I do with this? It won't let me uh, pick any of it. Jeez, I'm gonna die. Goodness me. Is that it or is that not it? No, there's a whole lot of oh, There we go. It really doesn't look right. Seoul must have been here. I think so. I'm picking up Kamitire scent. Okay, now I gotta go this way. I don't wanna get caught in that toxin. Oh, come on. 
trying to fix his client's problems. Like us. How's everyone back at HQ? They're hanging on. Ours. Not doing so well. Shoot. Please get me out of I gotta fall. Oh my gosh. Alright, there's a toxin that's gonna get me killed. I get out of that. I'm just gonna run around this. Navi camp here. Gotta hustle. Get out of the zone. There's an RDA facility here. It's quiet. Uh -oh. No RDA around. Good. Can't handle any more mechs. Way to find out. Heart, sweet. Maybe one of these times we can actually afford a decent weapon. Probably like maybe by the final mission. Am I still tracking scent? No. down here oh through here or is that where I came from no bad but it didn't collect this stuff it's research to fix the yada my mentor they're hoarding stuff here found most of it i 
thought maybe I could continue his work. Now he's passed. Seul is dead? What? I'm sorry. I hoped he could help me. After Anufi seemed so afraid to see me. What? You spoke to Anufi? Seul never believed it was her fault, you know. What happened to... Uh, my people. I mean, if he was right, then maybe Anufi will finally... I do not know. Stop blaming herself. Teach people of the old ways again. Like me. Seul kept coming here. He was so sure the Yaga had secrets about the Saren tomb. Expose the truth, he said. The truth? About what really happened to my clan? What Anufi did? Or didn't do? Seul was trying to make something to protect us in the Yaga. But all his work is in there. I can't get in. And now the Yaba is in there too. The Yaba. Do you think maybe some of the sky people stuff could help us get in? Maybe. Just maybe. Oh yeah, I can like hack stuff. What do we need here? Come here looking for us. I think I can clear the Yabe from here. This generator is linked to the ventilation system, but it needs new electrical components. Oh, well, you know, there are sky people near here. And you think if we're polite enough, they'll give us what we need? Huh? Maybe you can see. Oh, them. no. We need to get to Seul's research. It will show us all the Yabe's secrets. No, I know. More sneaking. Well, this is not good. Find electrical components. Well, at least if I'm just trying to find an item and get out, that shouldn't be as bad as like shutting down like a million freaking venti hey, Rita, ventilators or something. Do you know where the RDA store electrical stuff? Planning a shopping trip, huh? I'd say aisle 12, but I'm guessing that joke will fall flat. <laughs> Any generators are a good bet. RDA usually have them near underpass doors in their facilities. Thanks, Priya. Happy to help. That's a big freaking facility over there, too. Oh, boy. Battle a million mechs again. Like the last stealth mission wasn't that bad. Like it gave us like some decent areas to be stealth in. Unlike most of the games. So we'll see how this one is. Big one. Huge. That's the RDA. Why have just a little awful when you can have a lot of awful 
But like, it's like we're going into another RDA facility. Like, like I get it. Like, there's only so many enemy. You know, it's a, it is the biggest enemy is the RDA. It makes sense that we have to take down some of their facilities, but it's like, I don't know. I think we're doing it. Oh no, close the gas storage pipeline, close the shipping. Yeah, here we go. Same kind of thing again. Shut down the power plant's energy feed. I thought I was just trying to get electrical equipment. Here we go again. Same kind of mission that we've done 30 times already. Mech's walking around. I'm just so tired of these kind of missions. It's like there's not, I mean, there's not even different enemy types, it's just mechs. That's what makes it more annoying. Let's move over this way and try to grab. Hopefully, there's a way to be more stealth here. Guys up there too. Oh my gosh. Like toxic gas around it. Of course there is. Now they're gonna be alerted to me. I guarantee you. And I got toxin in me, so I can't. My surroundings. Right, that's done. Now what? Close the shipping sector pipeline. So, so it shows three more things. I'm gonna go this way. And after I do this, it's like sneak in here and get this, and then do this, sneak in here and do that. If you get caught, you gotta fight a bunch of mechs. Is that a soccer field? That is sick. That is actually awesome. I would be on that field every day. If I were RDA, playing a lot of soccer. Um, I feel like I'm not even getting any anywhere near these places I need to go. Damn it, I'm too tall to duck behind these barriers. Like, this is me crouched right now. Is there anybody here? I 
can spot me. Problem is with this, I can't tell sometimes if they're behind walls or not. Alright, we got... It's gonna alert them as well. Alright, now there's... Another thing over there, something over there. Shoot. come this way. I guess I should go over here first. And there's so many things over there. And I'm going up. I'm gonna go back around this way, I think. guy going. He's walking back. I'm gonna go down here. Right. Man. You're always so heavily outnumbered too. Under here. Oh gosh. There's a guy right there too. Fudge. This is not a good position to be in. Look at they're all alerted too. Gosh. I'm hide right here for a second. I'm gonna take out this guy here. There we go. Did somebody see that? There's no way. That mix saw it. Come on. Damn it. I could blow up that thing right there, but I don't want to, like, start a fight with everyone. Yeah, this is so annoying. slide into here. Is that a turret right there? Shoot. Come on. There's a turret like facing mother fudgers. There's a turret facing one of the switches I have to hit. So that means I'm going to undoubtedly be alerted because I don't think I can like hack those. Can I? Maybe I can hack the turret? I can. Oh, okay, that's good. Just like shut it down. Oh, I guess I can't from here. How do I do it? do this fast because they're coming go 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 oh my gosh oh my gosh wait what did, what just happened what just happened did I do it it's still red that's not good I 
Did I shut it down? I think I shut it down. I don't know. Oh, man. Okay, now I need to get rid of this. I need to find a time to go up there and pull this. I don't know that there is going to be a good time. I got a mech there, mech there. Mech right there. They're both walking that way. Okay, that's... This might be my opportunity right here. Oh, shoot. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Because they turned around. <sighs> Come on. I wish I could hack their freaking suits and shut it down. That would be... That would be awesome. Hack their mechs and ruin it. They're going that way. Nobody turn around now. That is our chance. Is our chance. Do it. Gonna run over this way. What? What? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. And then close the shipping pipeline. Kind of safe under here because they don't even look under here. They just kind of walk by. Alright, now I have to do that. And I guess that's probably where the electronic part is that I need. Uh, this is like right in the middle of everything, though. That's the big problem here. I'm going to go back around this way. Back through here. Man, patience here, patience. I know this isn't going to be the last RDA facility either, so we still have like six missions left after this or something. So there's probably going to be at least one more big one for the end, you know, full of mechs and stupid stuff. Oh gosh, look at this. It's right here. So we're doing pretty good so far, all things considered. Oh, wow. Damn it, I missed him. How did I miss him? Come on. Come on. Alright, got him, got him, got him. I don't want to alert too many people. Take them out, because they're, they're... They could easily spot me. Now we'll chill for a moment. Let it die down. <laughs> Freaking mix. All right, now can I go? See where it is. See where it is. Can I make a run for it yet? I'm jumping down here. I'm jumping down here. I can hide right here. Kind of pick my opportunity. Need you to go away. Thank you. Do it now. Faster, please. Did I do it?
That means they're all gonna come after me. I thought I was trying to get electrical parts or something, like... Or did I actually, like... Oh, I shut down the facility so then, like, the plant life can grow around there. Okay. So that was, like, an optional thing? Oh, if I... Oh, if I did that, now I can just freely explore it? They get the heck out of here, huh? That's awesome. They didn't hear me coming this time. That was really, we like, that might have been our best stealth action yet. Alright. Shotgun? Wow. Hang on, how do I equip that? How? 200 damage. Dude, it's like four times, at least twice the damage of anything I have. So how do I equip that to over here? Ooh, I can place it. All right, so shotgun on there. We're gonna replace the gun with because Longbow, I guess. That gun's terrible. I need to get a better one. Oh, we got a shotgun now. That's awesome. Although I do like the spears, too. So if I get... Well, there's that one skill where I can get more... Weapons. Well prepared. A fourth slot in your weapon wheel. So I need another skill point. And I can probably equip both the shotgun and... The, um spear on my wheel spare parts nice I got some good maybe some better stuff too 107 health this is no no 96 nope not better well, some of this stuff that's not better, I'm just going to drop it. Oh, this is better health here, 72. There we go. Looks like football pads, but we don't care. Going to drop that. Going to drop this one. So I just got to return to him. I thought we were trying to get parts or something. It's weird. Storm shells. Nice. Okay. Don't know if I'm going to do another main mission tonight or not. If I'm just going to head to the Prince of Persia. I thought... These missions would take us a little bit longer, but we're doing pretty good. All right, so I have to go over there. We just fast travel there. Did you get it? Did it go okay? 
<laughs> yeah, surprisingly. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Well. And now what do I do? Now I go put it over here. So once again, we pretty much do everything. Which I should probably eat something. And then we'll grab this to replace it. Activate the generator. I'll have to do it for me, okay. Okay. Let me guess now I gotta go to another facility and get some other thing. How do they work? That was just the power. Oh, if you say so. This guy sounds like he's high. Oh, if you say so. Yeah. Alright. What is that? It will let the Yafa out. Just watch. I need to get the system started. Then it should work. Shit. Enjoy your optimism. Act the East Wing ventilation system. one that one's already hacked so is this like okay to go in over here I'm gonna go back to the, like the uh, resistance headquarters too to see if my spare parts can get me a better gun at this point. Oh shoot. Um. in there do I go maybe I go through here oh I see I gotta go like underwater probably dang Maybe. 
Yes, more spare parts. Bring it on. spare parts I'm loving it please let me have enough to get like a good gun oh like just I want like about like assault rifle since we have a shotgun good spear throwing and a decent heavy bow I'm not sure how to get into this other area Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So we'll go in there. We'll go in this way. Down to here. Yo, Belmont, thanks for the raid again, man. Thank you so much. Welcome in, welcome in. We had a nice, nice stream. Let me go through here. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna fry me. So, gonna make this jump. Huh. Where's this other one I gotta do? Ti oh, I didn't realize I was being timed. Oh my gosh. I had no idea I was being timed. Uh, hang on. Where do I go from here? I made the jump. Can I do it from here? I cannot. Where do I go? Where do I go? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Where do I go? 30 seconds. Oh my gosh. Where do I go? Down here? It's gonna kill me. I can't even. 13 seconds. Did I. No, I'm not gonna make it in time. Oh my gosh, I just did it at the buzzer. Oh no, I didn't. I'm dead. Shit. <laughs> I thought I did it. I'm doing all right. How are you doing, man? How are you? Thank you again for the for the raid. Man, I, sorry I was against the clock there. That was crazy. I didn't realize I was being timed until there was like a minute left. <laughs> all right. Uh, why is it spawning me in here? There's no way. It's spawning me in the death zone. There's no freaking way. You don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me. What? That sucks. It spawned me in my death area. Are you kidding me? That I can't get out of. What the f Oh my gosh. You're playing Rumble? Wait, what Rumble event's going on right now? I have to fast travel out of here. The only way I can not die is to fast travel out of here. Anywhere. 
Where can I even fast travel? It will let me respawn anywhere? Like right here even? Or what? I don't know what's happening. Oh, Summer Forest event. Collect dragon statues and party money to get cosmetics. Oh, okay. I didn't even know about that event. Dang. Just some new cosmetic skins. What is... What is happening right now? Like, it keeps spawning me. And I keep dying. Like, oh, this is so dumb. If I had just reached that section two seconds earlier, I would have done it too. That's the most annoying thing. I couldn't figure out where to go. I gotta fast travel. Like, it won't even let me fast travel. How about right there? I'm gonna go right there. Why would it spawn me right as I'm dying? Like, that's so dumb. Now I need to do the whole freaking thing again. Should spawn you in the beginning room. If you die. Now that I know I'm against the clock, I'm gonna hustle up. No, I had no idea. I gotta do this whole freaking thing again. Alright, here we go. That's good that it's like, it's like an event specifically for party mode, huh? Some of it. That way you can have less of the toxic people coming in trying to ruin the experience for people. fly like all the way around gosh and there's toxic fog too does this game tie into the movies um yeah kind of actually they mentioned what's his name like the main guy from the movies like in the beginning of the game. But for the most part, it's like its own story, honestly. Jake Sully. I th yeah, I think so. That's that's his name, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, we got his name. Me, yeah, the guy. The human... Who had the avatar made of me? I have to do this whole mission again? Oh, I just have to do the hacking again. Okay. I have to go back in this way because the game spawned me in a soft lock. Because it's stupid. Okay, now... Now we did that. I should be able to do it now that I know where I'm going and that I'm being timed. Wait, why do I not have to hack anything anymore? It's only up to a certain point, huh? Okay, I have to start from here, I guess. Interesting. It isn't even making me do the whole mission. It's just like the last part of it. That's open. Okay, yeah, this part here. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. 
No, no, no. Do you like the movies, Belmont? Do you like the Avatar movies? I actually like the second one quite a bit. Like, I like the first one too, like when it came out and all that when I was younger. I remember seeing it and thought it was like so awesome. But I never like totally got into it. Wait, how come this fog is still here? It shouldn't be like that. That should be gone. Something's wrong. Something is not right here. And I can't go back or can I? I, can't. I think this game like freaked out or something. It glitched. Hack that, so that should be okay. That one room should not have fog in it. Unless it's this one we have to go to. No, we already did that too. Yeah, this is all good as well. It spawned the fog, but yet. Yeah, like didn't reset the hacking, so then I can't shut it down. That's not good. So the only choice is to try and survive it by running through as fast as I can. Maybe. interested in the game but you haven't heard much buzz about it since I assumed it's pretty mid it's actually a very very good game like it hasn't gotten as much like attention but I think it's it's got pretty good reviews and it's definitely one of the best looking games of the year like when you're outside exploring Pandora the, the graphics are just phenomenal all the colors and the different flora it's, it's just insane Spending a lot of money on games. Oh yeah, same here. <laughs> yeah, usually I like... I go through like a couple months, maybe I'll buy some stuff. Then there's like... There's usually like a month or two where I just don't really buy much. I kind of just had... Actually, January's kind of been my month for that, where I haven't really picked up too much. Because after Christmas, it was like I wanted to save a little bit more money. I get that, yeah. And I do try to wait for some games to go on sale, too. Unless it's something that I really want to play on launch, then I'll, then I'll pick it up on launch. So I have to just, like, flat out survive this, which I don't even think I can. See, that room should not have fog in it. That's messed up. I don't understand, like, why am I dying, like, in no time? Can't see. I cannot see. What is happening, game? Okay, I'm dead again. I think the game's glitched. I think it's glitched. It, like, keeps spawning me in an area where it needs me to do something, but I've already done it. But it reset all like the things that kill me, so I can't, I can't continue that. Like what the? F I don't know what to do. It's glitched out. It is glitched. 
This is terrible. What do I do? Go there, I don't know. Oh, this sucks. It's glitched out. Damn it. Like, I'm soft locked right now. Because I need to complete that mission. This is a main mission. And, like, I did it at the buzzer and it counted it. Like, is it still. Yeah, it wants me to still go there. Oh, man, this is not good. You shop a bit when you get your paycheck and save the rest. Yeah, no, that's smart too, you know. Definitely, um... See, the fast travel brings me here where it gets me killed. I don't understand. What, what does it want me to do? There's nothing left to hack. I don't... The toxic gas should be gone. It shouldn't be there. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. Why? Uh, how do I even get out of this situation? I don't even know what to do. There's no way in hell I'm starting the entire game over again. Oh my gosh. This sucks. Because like, when I completed the mission, it killed me at the same time. So then it thinks I didn't do it. And then respond everything, but then there's nothing left to do because the objectives didn't respond. Just the stuff that kills me. So therefore there's no way I can even complete this mission, I don't think. This really sucks. Because I did it right at the buzzer... It, like, didn't count it, and then... I don't know, I'm trying to make... Trying to, like, explain it the best I can, but I think that's what happened. Is... It accepted the completion of the mission, but didn't save it. But didn't reset the objectives. But respawned everything that kills you, that you can only get rid of by doing the objectives. So therefore, I just die. Uh, there's nothing really I can use. I mean, maybe there's... I mean, I can keep spawning health packs. I only have four, though. And this thing kills me in about a second. So I have to do whatever I gotta do fast. But the problem is there's nothing to do. There's no objective to do, even though it still shows me I have to do it. I wonder if there is like a previous save that I could load that would like work because this is bad like this is literally a soft lock where I don't know what to do yeah because all the objectives are still done but it keeps spawning yeah I was supposed to hack that it's already hacked when you hack a room it's supposed to get rid of the toxins so and here's good because everything's been hacked I don't... so there's one more thing to hack it looks like it's right there but I can't get in there because I have to go through the toxins that shouldn't be there that's hacked that's bad that's hacked This is all hacked too. So that's why it's all safe in here. See that room's been hacked. As you can see from there. But the toxins are still there. So it's glitched out. Hmm. There's nothing that can really keep me alive long enough either. 
because hey, what is this? Oh, that's just a like another way through. Nope. You see, because before when I hacked it, this this all this toxin clears up, so you can hop across there. It should be gone. There's even toxin in there where there shouldn't be. Because it's all been hacked already. So I really don't know. Is there another way up here? I really don't know what to do. I'm going to have to look for another save. Because if this doesn't open... second I set foot in here, I'm dead. Gosh, this really sucks that it did this. It's more annoying is I was literally like a second or two away from completing the mission on my first try and not worrying about this would have never happened. I had just done it like a second sooner. There's one of my heal things, and that's it. That's all I got. Yeah, this should not be here. Gonna shut down the electricity at least. Is there like anywhere else that I can go to like? So I have to go underwater and then up. And I just don't have the health to do it. You can't. Damn. Auto complete SID hacking gameplay settings? What do you mean? Someone in the subreddit said they solved the they had that solved a similar problem they were having. Oh, okay. Um, so gameplay, guided, what would be under here? Auto SID hacking. Okay. I see, I see. Maybe? Alright, nothing changed. Yeah, it just it like spawned the toxins back in when it shouldn't have. That's what it is. Oh man. Thank you for that Belmont, by the way. It was worth a shot. Uh, I don't know. I, now I don't... Let me see if I have a previous save, because this is... Oh, it saves automatically and it doesn't have... Shoot. It doesn't have like a load save thing. Oh my gosh. This is terrible. Because you can't manual save in this game either. It auto saves everything. Shit. So what do I do? Hack the research room's ventilation system. Yeah, like, I have to go that way underwater, up into the other room. But I've hacked everything in there. So the, the this stuff should be gone. Let me through the door. I'm dead. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we got soft locked. What an awful... It's not the first time I've been soft locked in a game and had to quit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright. Going back to main menu. 
Maybe I can load a different save. No way. It doesn't even... Ugh. It auto-saves everything. So that's my only save point is that one. Because there's an auto-save and not a manual save. New quest, the wind will carry us? What's happening now? Did it actually accept it now? Now it's saying I did it. All I had to do is like load the game. What? That was so freaking weird. Okay, it started a new quest. Is it a main quest though? Oh no, never mind. It's still there. It's still there. Can I like restart the mission or something? Oh, no worries. No worries, Belmont. No worries, man. Um, oh, no, it's still there. That, it, it like brought me onto like a side mission for some reason. Oh, it's still there. Yeah. Yeah, hack the research room's ventilation system. Oh, this this is not good. RDA's flying down too for some reason. Just to make my day worse. Like there's nothing I can do. Like maybe there's a recipe that will give me like better resistance to toxin but whatever I have to do I have to do it in like five seconds I just I don't know like I think I'm soft locked for good reload from the death screen using the hacking tool after dying to try it also no Killing yourself. Somebody else got stuck. Oh, okay. So that's posted from the subreddit. But somebody else got stuck here, too. You're saying. And that's what they did. Kill yourself in the game. Reload from the death screen. From the death screen. Using the hacking tool after dying. Like, oh, this is so weird. Because it, it's, it still thinks there's an objective to do. But there's nothing, like, I think there is still something to hack, but I can't get there because everything before it is soft-locked. That's, that's the worst part of it, is like, oh man, this is just so annoying. Can't believe, like, our run's gonna end here. After all we've done in this game, trying to finish this. Alright, so we have full health now. Cause it re cause it respawned the toxins, that's what's killing me. It doesn't matter about the objectives being done or not, it's the fact that I can't get anywhere that I need to get to because of the toxins being there. So this sucks so bad about this. And it only auto saves one save. And again, that's out of the player's control. That's how the auto save goes. This guy's not going to help me at all, is he? So you kill yourself? Do I have to do the whole thing again? There, attacked. I'm gonna see if I can do it all again. So now look, now it's ma it's coming up again, telling me I need to hack. Auto completing. 
doing this now. Yeah, thank you for showing me that feature. Maybe it'll work now. Like, it's like actually letting me hack the things again, which it shouldn't be doing, but because it's still showing green like I already did it. So that's why it's weird. This is like, oh man, this game's messed up right now. I think that should be. I need to get in there. Let me you better let me hack this thing. Get rid of this toxin. Setting your FPS to sixty might help. What really? Let's cure this one. Can you do that in game though? Where am I going? Hmm. I mean, at some point, I might need to try all these things. <laughs> Just try anything, anything that works. See, now the toxin's gone. Okay. See, it should have been gone before. All right. All right. So the toxin's gone. I mean, we could still die in the water, so gotta be careful. Might, I don't want to fail this now, because this might be our only chance to actually get out of this soft lock. I'm going to. break that down so the water doesn't kill me as fast. Alright, now. we can go. Down here, I think. Oh, okay, thank God. Auto complete that one, too. I'm not messing around with anything right now. And now we go. Okay, that should be done. That means this door should open, right? No? And now what's the next step now? That should be it. What is this room? Here we go. And then it's this room. Okay, we never got this far. Yeah, no, Velma, I think your auto hacking thing actually is helped here. I think I think a combination of everything, like me dying and then reloading the save game from the main menu. There we go. That was so freaking weird. I shouldn't have done that, but I think this had Spartan leaves. Belmont, thank you. Honestly, <laughs> I'm gonna keep the auto hack on just in case, you know. Alright, now can we finish this mission? Get a new save. Crisis averted, indeed. My gosh. That would have been so annoying because I'm like 75% of the way through this game. I don't know. Probably something Sewell found. But this, the symbol. I suppose it's kind of pretty. There's a few of them around here. Mm. There are more. Tap all the way out here. I, thought, I think we're going to play Prince it of Persia soon sense. anyways, but at least we'll have this other main mission done all now. And the other. But one second, wait for it. There we go. I did it. Just I think this guy is on a lot of shrooms. You take it. You deserve to know what happened to your people. I hope this works. Seul was never wrong. <laughs> you can enter. Hey, what's up, Stardew? Welcome in, man. I bet. a choice that you can't manual save and only gives you one save point. Yeah, you it's remember where you saw it? like you think it would yes, at least manual save nice. like a few things. I don't like when you can't do a manual save in a game. Like, it really... 
it always makes me nervous, you know, like something like this could happen or like, you know, you won't save, it won't save correctly or something, you know, because I always like manual saving and knowing exactly, you know, what I left off on and what, what's going on, you know. Like, I've never been a fan of autosaves. Like, sometimes they can come in clutch, though, because if you forget to, like, manual save something, and then there's an autosave. Like, I'd rather have both, you know? Honestly, having both is, is the best option, but I'd much rather have an, a manual save there so that I'm, like, I'm good. Leave analysis center, bravo. Okay. I, I just gotta find my way out of here. Back through here. Never had a problem with auto saving on yours on your game, Silver Flame. I usually don't. I usually don't have a problem with it. Like it doesn't create problems. In this game it just did for a little bit, but usually it's reliable, yeah, but Manual save is definitely something I, I personally prefer because I usually remember to save and I'm like, all right, let me make sure I'm saving the game right where I want to. All right, I'm going to call Carol. Going all right, Stargen. We almost got soft locked. We kind of were soft locked, honestly. But luckily, uh, Belmont was here to help us. Get out of that situation. <laughs> During your playthrough of Amori, I played for three, four hours to end your stream without saving. I had to redo a ton of stuff. Oh goodness me! That sucks. Because that's a manual save only. How is that game, by the way? I wanted to play Amori. I thought it looked really cool. Really nice, nice little art style. I don't understand. I see that name. It's dark and then a light flashes across it. I never knew what it meant. You don't have the soft lock problem? That's good, it's Silver so Flame. Hopefully that continues. You don't ever want to get so, uh, soft soft lock. It's like the worst thing it ever. In a mountain or I don't know. It just must mean something. Somehow we're connected to this place. Yes. I have been soft locked before that I haven't been able to get out of. Half-Life 1, soft-locked, and could not continue. There was no feasible way to continue. Because I had a manual save that I did, where I thought I was good. But apparently, no, I just keep dying over and over again, because I, I don't know. It's just really weird how that happened. The autosave brought me back there too, so. Alright, so. I don't think I'm gonna do this next mission. Memory is really cool, you like that a lot. It gets a bit dark, but a really neat game. Yeah, yeah, I think it like looks a little bit creepy to me too. So. So I kinda wanna check it out. They like physical copies for the uh, for the Switch for that game, which is pretty neat. I do wanna. It's it's on my list. I just don't know when I'm gonna get around to getting it because with RPGs, I have plenty to play already. And you played it on the Switch. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't even know. I mean, it probably is on like PlayStation, Xbox as well. Right, let me see how many missions we have left in this game. I don't think it's a lot. It might be like six or something like that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six. Exactly. All right. I'm probably going to switch up games. Let me just go back to... Here. Because I want to do... Oh, wait, not there. Uh, where's Resistance Headquarters?
That's the circle. Thought it was here. Oh yeah, was it like destroyed or something? That's right. Oh, Lord Fudge. Hmm. Console versions of exclusive stuff. Boss rush mode and a secret boss fight. Oh, cool. Is there like more stuff in it? No, I'm always on like everything, uh, Silver Flame. I guess they just the console versions have a little bit more stuff in them than the PC one. Wait, is Resistant Headquarters like really just destroyed right now? That sucks. Because it was like down here, wasn't it? Because we took refuge in like a different area. So how do I use my upgrade then? I want to use my spare parts, but I don't know where to go then. Um, resistance hideout, I guess. This is where it is now. Forgot like we had to move. Oh, physical Xbox copies, maybe. I mean, I honestly, I'd probably get it on my Switch. If I already want to get it. Amori. Yeah, Amori is a very art style, artsy style kind of RPG game. It's unlike anything that you've really probably seen. Um, I need to... Before I end this, I want to go find a um, place to upgrade my weapon, maybe. Get a better weapon. I don't know where that is. Yeah, do you play a lot of your Switch handheld? I actually don't very often, to be honest. I don't do a lot of handheld gaming these days. Like, if I'm, like, going somewhere for the weekend or something, then, yeah, I'll take, like, my Switch or, like, even my Game Boy Advanced or something and just play some stuff on there. But I don't... Everything that, that I play that's new or I haven't played through before, I usually stream, so I don't even... Play it on the go if I haven't played it. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'll take it, like I said, to places. If I'm, like, staying at a hotel or something for a night, I'll have my Switch. I'll bring, like, Smash Brothers, Mario Strikers, stuff like that. Um, who here can give me a new gun? Not typically, I see. Road trips or lunch at work. Yeah, see, that's more so what I would use it for, like, if I'm not home. Like, sometimes we go to my girlfriend's mother's place for, like, the weekend to go visit her and hang out there. And I'll bring, sometimes I'll bring my Switch. Or I said, I like using, I still like using my Game Boy Advance a lot if I'm going places, too. I don't have a ton of games for it, but... Doesn't bother me. Where does this take me outside? Oh no. We tried that. They're just not responding to the notes. Have you asked Marlene? Here you go. Have a look. Okay, can we get a better weapon? No, we cannot. Well, we can, but not by much. 
Like, is it even worth it? I could spend 30 spare parts to get a thing that has a damage by, like, a couple. I mean, if I save up for, like, I mean, the 81 would be nice, but... That'd be worth it just to get a, at least a better gun at least in. Because are we... You know what, I'll do it. I'll just do it. Let's get a better gun now, because I don't know if I'm going to find all the spare parts I need anyways. We mine as well. Where is it, by the way? How do I... How do I equip it? Oh, here we go. That was weird. All right, there we go. Now we have a slightly better gun. <laughs> Not by much, but it used to be in her DS twenty four seven. Started you. The DS. I mean, my three DS I've used quite a bit before. I did have the original DS too, but then I got. I think I traded hey, in to get the three DS. Well, let's talk. Let's not. Um, yeah, I mean, DS's library is ridiculously huge. Hey there. One of my brothers played oh, his oh, Game Boy Advance, no, like, all the time. He would be on there. Keep I mean, ha handheld gaming seems to be a novelty that's kind of worn off a little bit. Like, people don't do it as much, I don't think. So I don't mind handheld gaming. I just don't. I just hey, typically don't do just it a lot. Because most of my gaming is just done on console and the TV, and I'm streaming it, you know. So I don't really. I said like like 95 percent or more of the gaming I do is all done here on stream. So I don't really play too much when I'm not streaming. Unless it's, you know, like, set up, I'm not home, and I'm just fooling around in a few, few games or something, or testing some stuff out. Everybody's hurting here. Look at that. Oh, yeah, like, if you could stream handheld stuff, yeah, that would be incredible, yeah. That's what I'm saying. If I had the equipment to stream everything I had handheld, that would be, be really cool. I don't have a ton of handheld games. I have like less than 10 Game Boy games, and then I have like maybe around 10 Game Boy Advance games. I have a couple 3DS games, uh, like five or six regular DS games. That's about it. Yeah, authentically, yeah, that would be so good. Hey, there is, I think there is ways. There's like a capture card I think you can get for the DS, but it's like expensive. Like, I don't really buy a lot of handheld games anymore, so I don't even... I just probably won't even invest in something like that. You need a new look. I said, I just don't have enough in my library that's... It's not worth doing, really. Keep yourself in one piece. But there's, like, a world of games that you could do handheld if, they, if you had the equipment. In the games, of course. Like if I did, say I could stream my... I mean, you can... Like GameCube has the hookup for the Game Boy Advance. So you could technically hook up your GameCube to a streaming device. And play Game Boy Advance games and stuff. Hey, just in time. Let's talk. Who's this? Rinala. 
I would probably stream my Banjo Kazooie game on Game Boy Advanced. Grunty's Revenge. And on 3DS, I absolutely love Mario Kart 7, so I would definitely stream that. That's one of my favorite Mario Kart I games, no probably. Took you years to find that? Oh yeah, that's expensive now, but it's not even only the the hookup, it's the disc. Like, the, the disc that you have to put into your GameCube, that's even more expensive. Um, like, the equipment you can get Probably not too bad, but the disc itself is going to cost you a lot. Yeah, there's a Banjo-Kazooie game on GBA. It's called uh, Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. It's a 3D platformer, but it kind of has like a asymmetrical view, which is kind of weird, I know. But it doesn't play that bad. Like, it's, it's a pretty good game. I never finished it, but I got pretty far in the game. Let me see. I don't have the box or anything for it anymore, unfortunately. I do not have a lot of handheld games at all. I still have like some, a couple like original Game Boy games. I'll show you guys what I got right now. I don't really, I really don't take these out and play them like too often, only if I'm going places. But let me see. Like for 3DS, I only have three games. I got Mario Kart 7, Super Mario 3D Land. I put so much time into both those games, and then Yoshi's New Island. I'll come up there. And the Banjo Kazooie game is. Where is it? Yeah, right here. Banjo Kazooie. Exclusively on the Game Boy Advance. Grunty's Revenge. Spyro games around here. It says Jade, what's up, Jaden? But my my prize collection in my handheld gaming is this right here. <laughs> Who else has uh, Lizzie McGuire on the go, complete in box? Oh wait, wait, you want to follow up to that? Oh, here you go. This might be even better, but... <laughs> I've played more of this game than I care to admit. My brother and I would play this a lot. Because it was, like, hilarious. It's so janky and just funny. We would sit and play that. Um, yeah, I got some weird games. I also have another Lizzie McGuire game, too. Uh, Lizzie McGuire 3. Yeah, there's three Lizzie McGuire games. For the Game Boy Advance. I have two of them. Scooby-Doo 2. This is like a decent like platformer. Mario Kart Super Circuit. Which is a lot like Mario Kart on Super Nintendo. Best way to watch Shrek 2 is on the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Where those like films they have on there. They make games of what? Lizzie McGuire? Oh yeah. Honestly like... There's worse games. Like, the third game in this is basically WarioWare. You know, like the WarioWare games where it's like a bunch of mini games. That's basically what Lizzie McGuire 3 is. I have WireWay. This is a pretty cool game. Oh, American Idol. Oh, yeah. I have American Idol on PS2 as well. You have Scooby-Doo 2 on, on Game Boy Advance as well? Yes, it's a great game. Sonic X episodes. <laughs> you know, it's, it's so weird they put stuff like that on there. Teenage Zombies. Drawn to Life. This is a cool game. Beastly. I made a game for that Vanessa Hudgens movie. Alice in Wonderland. This is a cool game here. This is a side-scrolling, kind of like a Metroidvania style game. With a really cool art style and graphics. Like the game looks... Just like it does, like on the cover, basically. It's really cool. The Black Knight fight. Oh yeah, yeah. In the end. 
It's an interesting little game, Scooby-Doo. Not bad. For Game Boy, I have just tech. I played so much of this game. This is probably the handheld game I've played the most. Tetris uh, DX for Game Boy Color. I have Blades of Steel. One of the reasons why I don't need to get it on my NES is because I have it on Game Boy, so I don't really need it. DuckTales. Oh, you had the PSP. Nice. Yeah, my brother had one of the PlayStation things. Can't go wrong with Tetris. No, you really can't. Uh, Mega Man 3. You have Metroid Fusion? Yeah, that game is pricey. I heard that one's really good, though. Uh, I also have Zelda Link's Awakening. So I have played a bunch of this game. I almost forgot I played a lot of that, that Zelda game, but there it is. And this was a GameStop buy years and years ago. My prized possession on Game Boy. In sync, get to the show. I've not played Puyo Puyo Tetris. I have not. I'm rocking the classics over here. All right. Um, huge score, I know. Four bucks. It was so funny. The uh, the guy at the time, the manager that worked at GameStop, was kind of like our friend because my brother and I were there a lot. So he would like, we joke around with him. He uh, he wanted me to bring, he wanted us to bring the game in so he hey, could play it. Just in time. <laughs> so he was in there playing in sync it to the show with my brother. It was really funny. And they were like getting into it. I have a lot of classics. Yeah, only the best here. What's up, Arachna? <laughs> zero. I can't. I gotta take away the zeroing command. I don't even. I haven't looked at my commands. I'm so bad at looking at those. I don't even think about them. You still have your dad's copy of Super Mario Land for the original Game Boy. Dang, that game might be worth quite a bit. That one's got like funky music too. I don't need to. No, don't need to take it down. Just keep it up there. Maybe I'll use that one for Zeroween 2024 as well. What else are you supposed to use? Oh shoot. So much to learn I almost accidentally set up a rain right now. Isn't that still one? There we go. Use that one. Zeroween part two. Yeah, no problem, Belmont. Thank you for coming in, man. Nice, nice chatting with you as always. Thanks for the raid as well. Have a good night. Have a good night. I'm going to end uh, Avatar here, guys. We're going to play some Prince of Persia. i got to take a break for a few minutes. Um, yeah, at least we got done a few a few uh, main missions. We got a scare in this game. We almost got soft locked. That would have been absolutely terrible. This game's really good. It is really good. Arachna. It's it's beautiful looking. Um, if you're a fan of the movies, it's definitely worth playing. Um, there's like a few annoying missions, but so far overall, I gotta say it's a pretty damn good game. I've really enjoyed it. Um, I said it's just it's amazing to look at when you're outside exploring Pandora, and the g gameplay's pretty solid. It's pretty well polished for the most part. People say it's Far Cry, basically, with a Avatar setting. That's basically what it is. But um, I really like the movement of your character, being able to, like, the more moves you unlock, you get, like, a double jump, and you can unlock an, an Ikram to, to fly around in, and that's really, really good. The guns, I haven't used too much, because they kind of suck, the ones I have anyways. So I've been using a lot of my bow and arrow and spear throwing, which is really cool. Very, very nice. 
Yeah, yeah, pick it up. It's on sale. Like, it'll probably be on sale several times, like, throughout the year, I'm sure. I, there's no doubt about it. Even though Ubisoft don't want you to own your games anymore. Well, too bad, Ubisoft. I own this game. Guess what? I own this game, too. There's nothing you can do about it. Freaking Ubisoft. Trying to tell gamers to get used to not owning their games. One of the dumbest, dumbest statements I've ever heard from a game company. And that's saying something. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for being here. Thanks for watching on YouTube and Twitch this series. I'll be back in a few minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed Avatar.